Today we're going to bring back to life our 110 gallon solar water heater. It's currently completely drained and shut down because this whole area freezes in the winter. This system new and installed would cost like ten to fifteen thousand dollars but I kind of picked it up as a throwaway on Craigslist for about 700 bucks. So I've had a lot of fun playing with this thing as it provides free hot water for the kitchen, the bathroom, the bathtub and now the new infinity pool up on the roof. The way it works, instead of using electricity or gas to heat the water in the tank, this system has special evacuated vacuum tubes up on the roof that heat up water, which we then circulate through the system and heats up our hot water tank. The system has temperature sensors up on the roof and inside the hot water tank. And when it senses that the temperature is greater outside than it is inside, it'll turn on the circulating pumps and then heat the water inside the water tank. So our little computer right now tells us that outside the temperature is 189 degrees Fahrenheit and about 65 degrees inside. So if there was water in here right now, it would circulate and heat it all up. But currently there's no water in it. It's not turned on, it's not plugged in, but I'm gonna show you how to hook that up right now. First thing we do is shut off any incoming water. Then we double check that all drain valves are shut. Now we reconnect the water output on the main tank. It was disconnected before the freezing season, just as a safety measure. We can now turn on the flow of water and let the solar hot water tank fill up. The heating system has its own isolated water flow system. Here we open up the system for draining. This valve allows the release of all collected debris and leftover antifreeze from the winter season. Yuck! We can now open the valve that allows filling of the system and watch the water rise to the top. There's some steam. And some dirty water. Interestingly enough, the concept of rooftop solar water heating dates back to 1902 as seen in this vintage newspaper ad. They are not very popular in the US, but in some parts of the world, like China and India, they are a common and standard way of heating water. Now that the water is running clean and the system is full, we can shut the flow of water and install the air bleed valve, which allows air to go out but not water. Pretty nifty. Everything is filled up and hooked up. It's about 10.30 a.m. Let's see what's going on right about now. If we look at our little computer, it says that the temperature up on the roof where the manifold and vacuum tubes are, it's about 84 degrees Fahrenheit, and the temperature inside the water tank is about 86.5 currently. Because the water temperature is greater on the roof, the circulating pump has started to run. And what's happening if we take our infrared thermometer is that we can see water coming from the roof that is warmer and water coming from the water tank going back out. So it's gonna start circulating and warming up the water inside the solar hot water heater until they reach equilibrium. This is actually how our own bodies work. When our feet are cold, our bodies will open up these shunts in our legs, which will allow the warmer blood closer to our heart to circulate to the extremities and warm up our tippy toes. So let's let it do its thing, allow the sun to gain some altitude, and we'll check back on our temperatures in a few hours. Welcome back and let's see how we did. It's about 4 p.m. now, it's about bath time, so let's see how we did with our solar water heater. 
At 10.30 a.m., the temperature was about 85 degrees inside and it's been circulating for about five hours now and currently the temperature inside the hot water heater is 100.5 degrees, which should be just about good to make a uh, free solar bath. Only one thing left to do, let's see how this 100.5 degree solar heated water translates into a bathtub. Thanks for watching my video. It's been a blast today. We made a solar heated bath. Our water temperature ended up being about 97 degrees. And we started at 100.5 in the hot water tank. So we lost about three degrees going through the pipes. Please like and share if you like these videos. If you subscribe to my channel, these videos will come right to you so you don't have to search for them and you'll get notified. And I will see you next time on Dave's Post-Apocalyptic World. Oh, it's a lie.